Welcome to Kingdom Footsteps. My name is Joseph, and today I'm listening to Nancy Cohen as she talks about how we can be transformed to be and look more like Jesus. And really, the way how you do it is you go into the presence where He is and you bear all Him face to face. And the more we look at Jesus, the more we become like Him. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk here down the river. I'm going to enjoy the beautiful nature here in Paris in the city where I live and I invite you to walk with me and listen with me to Nancy as she stirs the word of God inside of us. Enjoy it with me. So let's go on. Let's look here. I'm going to talk to you. Uh, uh, you can write down a few of these verses and Shannon and I'm on uh, uh, slide eight. Okay. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. Woo! But when he know when when he is revealed, when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. That word goes back to the Hebrew and it says, When you see me as I am. I am. Whoa. I am. Not just your Savior. Not just your healer. Not just your deliverer. Not just your provider. But when you see me as I am. That's everything from the beginning all the way to the end. Then you shall be like me. Actually, the truth is. Okay. <laughs> Okay, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just rip through these up. That we don't even have we really have to have them up there. So if it has not yet been revealed what you shall be, and the way that you shall be, what you were created to be, what that means is we're actually going back in time and taking back the primordial position we had in the garden before the fall of man. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're going to come into a position called dominion. Dominion over all things. Now, a lot of people say, oh, that's impossible. Because for 2,000 years, we've had it grafted into our mind the concept that I'm just a poor, miserable sinner. I'm always going to sin. I'm always going to fall short of the glory of God. That is not the truth. And in fact, the truth is, Jesus said, Go and sin no more, and be ye therefore perfect, and not just perfect, but perfect as my Father in heaven is perfect. That is pretty darn perfect. So the question is, how is it even possible, how is it even possible for us to be perfect? The age that we're coming in is as radically different from the age that we are now leaving as the age of the church was from Israel. Israel functions under the law. The church functions under grace. The kingdom functions under perfection. The only way that we can function under perfection is to get caught up into the heavens, carried away to see what the Father is doing, Go up and grab what we see up there, bring it down here, drop it, decree and declare it to the heavenly realms, go back into heaven, grab something more, bring it down and drop it. Whoa! I've been teaching corporate ascension. Myself, I've been ascending for over 40 years. And I could give you (laughs) at least five months worth of testimonies of what that has produced in the earth. But the issue is, for the last 20 years, I've been teaching mostly out of the United States and in foreign countries. Uh, Because the Lord shut down some things so that I could be hidden for a while, and I've been very hidden for a while, I took this concept into the nations of the earth, and for 20 years I've been teaching ascension to people overseas. Now, there is a thing in the invisible realm called the measure of rule, okay? The measure of rule comes by the intensity of the desire that is in your heart. And the word says, 
Strong meat belongs to those who are full age, who by reason of the constant, unending exercising of the gift that is in them have learned. So these people that have been ascending and descending for over 20 years, today I can prove conclusively. When they go up and they see what the Lord is doing, and they hear what the Lord is saying, and they come back down here and they decree and they declare the thing that they saw and the thing that they heard according to the pattern of Jesus, when they come back to the earth and decree those things to the heaven, within seven days, they actually manifest. Not only that, they also show up in the TVs, they show up on the headlines of all of the newspapers. The word says, when we decree and we declare a thing to the heavens, it shall be so. But that demands something from us. It demands the strong, unending exercising of the gift that is in you. If I gave you the testimony, oh my goodness, people, and I, I'm telling you, I could stand here literally for a year and never repeat the same testimony over of things that the Lord has done in the earth as a result of ascension experience. So, uh, come back after the break. We're going to give you a pattern for ascension experience. Okay? Right now, I want to just go through some of these scriptures and then talk to you about what is the mystical life and how is it that we are going to be called to live in a limitless realm. Actually, you know, the day is coming when the Lord is not only restoring the dew of your youth and increasing and bringing back to the earth longevity. I am a walking, talking, living example of the fact that you can be in your 80s and 90s and still your natural force will not abate. If you're here and you're under 20, raise your hand. Nobody under 20? Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Honey, I just want to say, I just want to say to you, the Lord is now raising up an entire generation of people who will never die. You're actually going to live the next millennium without any sickness, without any uh, problems in your body, in your mind, or your spirit. The, right. the spirit of death is going to be totally, uh, totally held in a place that cannot even touch you. Okay? Now, that's scriptural. A lot of people say, really? Really? Yes, the word says there's going to be a thousand year period when no death will function in the earth. You are spearheaders of that. And if you will tap into the mystical realm... Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Okay. So, the revealing, or the day of our revealing, the thing that has been hidden, is about ready to be revealed. That God Almighty inside of us, folding Himself up so small to put Himself in, is about ready to reveal Himself. Wow. And what that's going to cause is what I call the seventh day transfiguration of the corporate Son of Man. Now Jesus says, uh, the things that I do, you shall do also. And greater things than I have done will you do. First time I ever read that, I, I thought, oh my goodness, Jesus made a mistake here. <laughs> Surely... Surely, he didn't mean the same things he did, we can do, and greater things than he did? How is it even conceivably possible that anyone could ever do a greater thing than he did? It's not my word. It's his word. We are now entering to the day called the day of greater things. And actually those greater things are already happening in the earth. The only way that we can be incorporated by God into this massive move that is about ready to take place is as we give up our own thoughts, 
give up our own dreams. Give up our own expectations. Give up all of our hopes. Lay all of our needs down on the floor because it's not about us. It's not about Him meeting your needs. It's not about your healing. It's not about your business. It's not about your finance. It is about us becoming completely, absolutely identified with Him. When you enter union with the divine nature, every single need you have will be met. If you need healing in your body, you unify with Him and you'll get it. I promise. I've tested it. People come to me all the time. Lay hands on me for healing. I need a healing in my body. I said, okay, take my hand. We're going to heaven. Come with me. And I take that. You see, when we stand in His presence, He is everything we have need of. No matter what that need is, it's met in Him. We have to be fully identified with Christ Jesus and renewed in our knowledge or in our thinking according to the pattern so that we can become, oh, dare I say it, the exact image of our Creator. Wow. The Word says, the Word says, we were created to be the reflection of His glory. Yeah. We were created to be perfect, whole, complete, entire, and lacking nothing. Wow. Is this not beautiful? To be here by this river and to look at the little birds as they sit in their nests and they eat. It's like a whole ecosystem right here by the river. So peaceful. And you know, out there in the city is busy, people are running around trying to do all kinds of things. But right here it's just beautiful and peaceful and quiet. It makes me so happy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the session of Nancy Cohen. I want to invite you, please hit the like and the subscribe button. And next time we're going to listen to Nancy and she's going to give a testimony of how she raised someone from the dead and how the Lord was teaching her that raising the dead is part of the first principles, you know, like you read in the beginning of Hebrews chapter 6. So I want to invite you, uh, click on that like uh, and the subscribe button. And then also if you could uh, hit that playlist and you can join me on the next session when we listen to Nancy about the resurrection. Uh, it's going to be good. Uh, I really love and appreciate you guys. Uh, if you would like to receive prophetic ministry, you can come on a Monday or a Friday. Mondays at 7 o'clock, Fridays 8 o'clock South African time. And we would love to minister the word of the Lord to you. If you want to sow into unity with heaven, you can look in the comment, uh, in, the, in the description area, you'll see these ways. Uh, there's a PayPal and there's a bank account and places like that where you can sow into our ministry. Uh, we love and appreciate you. God bless you.